Hello, good morning everyone, Rich Wong here. So the last two days I have been testing the Panasonic Lumix uh, S1 firmware 1.2 that will be released very soon. So my original plan was to do a uh, quick video that just talk about all the new changes that are coming with the version 1.2 show you some of the test results as well so one of the changes is that uh, Panasonic mentioned that there is some improvement in the autofocus performance uh, it's not exactly very clear what sort of improvement it is or how big the improvement it is um, but I thought I should just do a test anyway and just see if there are any improvement if there are any improvement then I can talk about it in my video so I did some tests and my original plan was to um, get two S1 one with the old firmware and one with the new firmware so that I can do some side-by-side -side comparison unfortunately I could only uh, get one S1 uh, with the version 1.2 firmware and with the um, 24105 f4 lens so um, instead of comparing with the another s1 i just happened to have an a7 III as well which had the size 55 1.8 lens so i thought oh maybe i just do a side by side comparison with the a7 III because pretty much everyone would say the a7 III has the best autofocus system in the market right now so um, i thought just do a quick comparison just see how it is performing against the a7 III i just finished all the testing earlier this afternoon and i had a look at the results from both the Panasonic S1 and the A7 III and I was really surprised by what I saw so I thought I really should do a separate video that show you the uh, autofocus result from the S1 with the version 1.2 and also give you some side-by-side -side comparison with the uh, A7 III with the version 3.01 um, so you can see how this Panasonic performs against the A7 III so uh, pretty much all the settings are stock standard because uh, this A7 III is a brand new camera so everything is st stock standard and also the S1 is pretty much all stock standard including all the autofocus settings so the first test I did was the video autofocus test um, shot in 4k25 with the face eye tracking turned on so here are my test results <laughs> So when I checked the video footage from these two cameras side by side, um, I thought the autofocus performance from the S1 seems to have improved quite a bit. Uh, the response seems to be quite a bit faster and also most important, it seems to be a lot more reliable than the earlier firmware. Um, it always focused me when I'm moving around, even though sometimes it's a little bit slower than the Sony A7 III. But overall, I think it was quite a noticeable improvement uh, when compared to the earlier firmware. So after I did a test, I thought, well, the autofocus performance of the S1 now seems to be pretty good. What if I increase the frame rate? Because um, Panasonic using the DFD system, which is a contrast detect system, which is kind of limited 
by the um, the frame rate if you are shooting at a faster frame rate then the camera has more chance to do um, adjustment so it should give you better response so um, I'm not really sure if it still apply to the S1 but um, I did another test so here is the test I did um, the Sony was still shooting at 4k 25 while the Panasonic I shot in full HD at 60 frames per second
So what do you guys think about the autofocus result? Personally, I am super surprised by what the Panasonic Lumix S1 managed to do with the version 1.2 firmware especially when I was shooting at 60 frames per second. The autofocus performance, I honestly don't think it is any worse than the A7 III. Actually in some of the footage, uh, the Panasonic X1 seems to be even better than the A7 III which is something I completely didn't expect to see before I did the test. I actually also did another test which I set the S1 to 4K at 60p and I also do the same comparison and the result was very similar to what I saw before uh, with the S1 at 1080p but I decided to show you the 1080p footage because with the 4K 60p then there's a 1.5 crop so the framing is not quite exactly the same so it's a bit harder to see the comparison so I decided to show you the 1080p but I can tell you the result I got when I shot at 4K 60 is pretty much the same as I shot in 1080p at 60 frames per second. So yeah this is a very pleasant surprise to see how much the camera's autofocus performance has improved. I remember when I first tested the uh, firmware, I think it was still upon 8 firmware, the autofocus performance was, well, it's okay. It's probably usable, but definitely not good. And then 1.0 firmware, they have improved quite a bit. It's a lot more reliable, but it's still a little bit slow and um, occasionally it seems to miss, um, not able to track me. But now with the 1.1 firmware, there is a huge improvement compared to what the camera was just a couple of months ago. So um, yeah, very surprised by it. Let me know what you guys think about the autofocus system. Tell me what you think. Do you think it is finally the same performance as the a 7 or you think it's still not quite there yet? Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in my next video.